I think personalization is going to be defining. What I think is happening is that people are misunderstanding the drive for personalization. They think choice is a value in its own right. I think in a counter personalization which suggests that the public sector, given our resistance to paying high taxes, can give every single person what they want when they want it, is kind of ridiculous. Is you're after offering people a great experience. And um, that's often misunderstood as being um, about you must give them choice, you must give them personalization. There's a more ambitious account of personalization which recognizes that services are the outcome of a collaboration between the person who provides the service and the person who receives. So the rise of individualism and the rise of desire to exercise choices is you know, rooted in this um, desire to live experientially well. Product development is not happening in isolation any longer. They are involving the consumers and taking the inputs and actively involving them in developing the products. Um, Personalisation responds to this deep hunger of um, human beings um, as they kind of get away from um, subsistence and the, you know, um, just the, the daily kind of quoted to end fight for survival to kind of ask a big question about why am I here? What they're also doing is reaching out to the end customers and consumers directly, um, certain, in certain instances, avoiding certain channels. If I'm putting something in, I want to feel that I can negotiate about what it is that I want to get out of the system. I mean, personalization, I think, is driven by, um, and here I'm very influenced by Abraham Maslow, you know, we move up as we get richer, as we get better educated, um, we move up Maslow's hierarchy of need. We are inviting ideas from people. So when we want to launch something new, we want ideas from our employees. So we open up the portal saying, you know, please give us your ideas. I do think that um, this, this rise of the experiential lies behind this. And of course, companies are right to kind of say, we must, you know, meet this. Because if you don't meet it, you won't sell your good or service. The reason that you personalize service, the reason that services are built around the individual is because services are seeking to tap into the willingness of the individual to behave responsibly, to care, to trust, and all of those kinds of things. I, mean, I think that every human being alive um, wants to live a life that they have reason to value.